Hello my spooky friends, it is time for October's Grandma in a Box. If you have not seen my Grandma in a Box videos before or any others, I will briefly explain what the deal is and it's a good deal. Um, it is $20 a month and for your $20 a month you get three different baking projects baking because you don't actually have to bake anything. The work is done for you. It's things like cookie decorating. Um, last month I made some chocolate dipped pretzels um, and they are themed month by month. This month I have been so, so, so excited for just like the rest of my Halloween boxes. Um, October's Grandma in a Box is Halloween themed. It comes in a box that looks like this. Here is Grandma Terry. She is the founder of the box. This box originated when she sent some cookie projects to her own grandkids and then decided to start a small business and spread the joy. I will of course link her down below. I will also show you pictures of my finished products individually and then all at the same time because not there are usually three different projects but they always look so cute together. The first one I did was my favorite. Um, it was sea themed and I made some seashell cookies, um, clam cookies, and I can't remember what the third one was, but it was, oh, they were marshmallows dipped in uh, blue chocolate and then they had goldfish on them. So uh, every single month that I've done this, it's been adorable. I'm excited to get into actually making these projects this evening. I'm wearing my Halloween shirt. I have my spooky lights on. Um, without any further ado, let's get to it. So when you open it up, the tissue paper looks like this, her classic red polka dot tissue paper. October 2020 Halloween themed treats. Welcome to October Grandma in a Box. This month we have three new projects with Halloween in mind, including witch hats, crispy Halloween bites, and Halloween cookies with frosting and sprinkles. Um, also, she's very active on social media, so you can share how your projects turned out. Um, here is the month that I was referring to that was so, so adorable. Um, and on the back, a referral code that I will, of course, share with you guys. Before I get into the contents of the box, we'll talk about the individual projects. Here is the first project. It's Spooky Witches Hats. Um, you know what? Usually there is, yeah, okay, so um, included in this box is six ginger snap cookies, six Hershey's Kisses, six paper cups, candy eyes and bones, cocoa crispies, assorted sanding sugar, assorted Halloween sprinkles, and eight themed cookies. So usually the third project is always a cookie decorating project. Um, it's, it's just so much fun. It's got me back in touch with using frosting and piping frosting. Um, so yes, yeah, so here are the spooky witch hats. Uh, and for these, you're gonna use the Hershey's Kisses, Ginger Snaps, Melting Chocolate, um, the melting chocolate, uh, what I love about this is that she puts them in an order that makes sense. So you'll melt the chocolate for the first project and then use the leftovers chocolate for the second. Um, so you're not like running back and forth like a crazy trying to like figure out what to use where. It's all very clear in the instructions. The second project here, crispy Halloween bites. So these are along the lines of anything that involves Rice Kiss Krispies or Cocoa Krispies, I am a huge sucker for. And the third project, the Halloween cookies. So I, we will now get into the contents of the box so I can show you just how much stuff comes in here and how well it's organized. So as you can see, Grandma Terry separates everything for you so that it's super easy to unpack and use. Um, very, very kid friendly if you're doing the project with a kid. I've still always done these projects on my own and had a blast. Um, so here is the frosting. So this is excellent. So last month it was really, really hot when my box came. It was like 107 degrees in San Diego and one of the frostings had um, melted. No issue here, but I can see that it's in reinforced packaging now. So if that were to happen, it wouldn't get on the rest of the box. But here is the orange, purple, and white frosting there for the cookie decorating or whatever you choose to use it for. She always encourages creativity. This is the pack of melting chocolate. You can see it's plenty, plenty of chocolate. You melt it down right at the beginning and then you use it for the different projects. The Hershey's Kisses, packed individually. Here are the ginger snaps. There are six of them in there. 
a little tub of Cocoa Krispies. I think this is going to be dirt on a graveyard. I don't know that for a fact, but maybe. I, I went out of my way not to peek at the social media just because um, I like to see it after the fact, after I've already done all my projects because I don't like spoilers. So I keep it a surprise for myself until then. Here are the paper cups to hold your treats. Here are the bones and skulls candies to decorate with. The cookies in here, we have some witch hats, some ghosts, Ooh, these are gonna be fun, and some different sized pumpkins. And then last but not least, of course, the different sprinkles. It looks like uh, one of my package of sprinkles got loose there, but that's absolutely okay. So I won't open this package just because I'll open it over the sink, but there's some orange and black sprinkles here. Um, and then there are like the glittery sprinkles in purple and orange. Um, and then I see some regular old ice cream sprinkles, but in Halloween colors down here. So that is all, those are all the contents of my box. By now, through the magic of video editing, you'll be seeing a beautiful photo of my finished projects that uh, I roped my boyfriend into doing with me this evening. I'm wearing my squad shirt, my Hocus Pocus squad shirt. I'm ready to go. Um, thank you to Grandma in a Box for sending me this uh, to share with all of you. Um, I hope that you'll check them out regardless of whether you have kids in the house or not. It's, it's just such a fun way to break up your day. Every single time I've done it, I've been so grateful for the break from Netflix or puzzling or whatever I'm doing, staring at the dog. Um, so I will see you all very soon. Please like this video and subscribe down below so that I can keep bringing you guys videos and doing what I love, um, which is communicating with all of you. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.